love feedback at the end. Uh, if you don't like it, just send an email to uh, doesn'tworkatarkybuddy.com. And if you love it, send me an email at Titus. <laughs> Thanks a lot. First person up is, uh, is an art client. This is uh, Abraham from the Sun Exchange. And uh, we're good. So, yeah, that's a great question. So, we're going to open with, as you were the first one to begin, anything, so I'll give the lecture. So, I've been an angel investor, entrepreneur, and advisor for about 20 years now. That's um, why I started an entrepreneur very young. And I always tell my entrepreneur friends, got to get your elevator pitch right first. So the key to an elevator pitch is that I have not been in any elevator, even the worst building, that lasted more than a minute or a minute ten. So tell us, in a minute ten, what do you do? Well, actually, uh, I'm sitting here advising somebody to put myself in a view line the pitch, so is, <laughs> which is a pitch that is 20 seconds or less. <laughs> and you can't look at anyone. And you can't look at anyone. Um, but no, the, I mean, the, the elevator pitch model for science changes, we enable anybody to earn income from the sun. That's the, that's the really short version. The, the long version is we enable anybody to own the sun and have it located in the best location for that possible. The sunniest place for that. And own that asset. So now anybody on Earth can go solar at a price of $10 a unit. And the, the point of this is that we now reduce the orders of the the cost of going solar by three orders of magnitude. The solar energy would used to be a reserve for the upper middle class, so just have a roof to put solar panels on. But now anyone can access it. And the panels are actually are located up the roofs of factories, schools, hospitals, in developing markets primarily. Great. So why now and why block? Very most, one of the most fascinating things to me is that in 2009, it wasn't just Bitcoin that started, it, it has resulted in a broken, a, tr a truly broken financial system, and that's what Bitcoin was produced to solve fundamental issues with the way the financial system worked. That's how it emerged. And at the exact same time, solar energy emerged as a breakthrough technology to fix a broken energy system. We've been stuck on fossil fuels, Victorian age technology that is powering modern-day financial networks. And at the same time, solar energy emerges as a replacement for utility level energy. So it seems to be very obvious that if you can merge the two technology sectors, you can then have a positive feedback loop of silicon chips, financing silicon chips for a completely clean energy based, solid state economy of abundance for everybody to access. So when you think about the kind of landscape of companies you guys are put up against? How does blockchain and this and you guys, how do you fit in that ecosystem? Yeah, so is blockchain is an advantage, a disadvantage, is that speed? It, it, it's great for, uh, blockchain enables what we do. It, it, we couldn't do what we're doing in any other way. Uh, the fact is that you can now own a, a ten dollar soda asset in South Africa and earn an income stream from that once every ten minutes for the next twenty years. The resolution of payments that will be previously inconceivable. Like no other technology in the world enables this. And through using Bitcoin payment rail, we can service the entire planet with one single financial system. We couldn't use the dollar, we couldn't use the rupee, we couldn't use the euro, because that would everybody else. Using Bitcoin, the whole planet is now burning out of the sun. And that's why we use that. The sun exposure is slightly different. Well, the question for you is, uh, actually, you mentioned reserve currencies. So this idea of Bitcoin as a reserve currency, um, uh, my novelty question to you is, do you think Bitcoin will be the primary reserve currency? I think Bitcoin is already primary reserve currency in Africa. Um, if, you, if anyone has been there, you'll see the probably the proportion of people who know of or use Bitcoin in probably South Africa. It's probably the highest ratio. And the reason being that the financial systems in most areas of Africa are massively underdeveloped, as are the and if you think for a minute that Africa is population of 1 billion, and it's going to reach 4 billion by the end of the century. A B with a B. So yeah. with a B. So the population of Africa is 1 billion, 650 million, don't have any electricity. <coughs> if they choose to go down the route of fossil fuels, we're all fucked. The choice is left, what do you think? But we are seriously, the climate can't take that. Um, we need to go solar, and solar energy is now the cheapest way of achieving electrification for that many new people coming to the 
work, three billion more people will come to Africa by the end of the century. Um, and it's the cheapest way of electrifying the <coughs> solar power. And we can all own those massive basic infrastructure assets. Sure. Uh, Time kind of the sale. Size, terms. Okay, we, we've been operating for a year and a half already. We've got four commercial solar power plants. People can <coughs> solar cells, but you see the exchange. So that is sort of restrictive in the sense that once you own a solar cell, you can't really sell it to a secondary market. We're now tokenizing those solar assets. They can be traded peer to peer through traditional currency exchanges. And the smart contracts are transparent, immutable, you can see the record of ownership of the solar assets themselves. And the, each token purchased, the revenue created from those solar cells accumulates in April and just finances even more solar cells. So it's, it creates a ripple effect of electrification. It's not just one off purchase, it actually creates a decade impact of, uh, of additional solar electrification. It's not just about providing electricity, it's about providing internet access, water purification, and cryptocurrency mining systems in the electrification project we're working on. Great. So, if people want to take the sale, uh, what, what stage are you at? In which stage? We're in the pre pre sale at the end of this week. We've currently got a 40% bonus. So, if you purchase 1,000 tokens, you are actually buying 1,400 solar cells that will be deployed in real life active solar energy projects. That's the end of this week. One million dollar cash, we're around five hundred sixty thousand dollars. Scott Mizu from uh, NSL. Yeah, uh, Scott here and Randy here. They're um, leading our the admin. documentation agreements. Thank you.